Kennedy and his wife Joan arrived at Lindbergh Field from San Francisco about 12.30 p.m. The candidate made a beeline for the news gallery where he challenged President Carter to come out to California and debate him. I cannot understand what Mr. Carter is frightened about, why he's scared to defend his record. And it seems to me that the Democrats are going to be reluctant to nominate a, a candidate for the presidency that is unwilling to defend his uh, record. Then, with a 20-bike motorcade and an armada of security people, Kennedy was off to a $25 a head reception at the home of former Councilwoman Maureen O'Connor and her husband, financier Bob Peterson. There, Kennedy addressed more than 600 supporters and local delegates, aiming his pitch at minorities, women, senior citizens, and college students. I come here today to ask for your help and your support. On January, on June 3rd, we'll ask for your help in January when we are planning for the inaugural. But then... The Secret Service was hard pressed to keep order while well wishers filed past to meet Kennedy and his wife, but the candidate patiently greeted everyone who sought him out before he was delivered under reporters. Good to see you again. Nice to see you. Thanks for keeping people up. Yeah, okay, right. Nice to see you. Thanks an awful lot. Thank you very, very, very much. In a private interview with News 8, Kennedy said he's having to pick his spots carefully because his campaign is almost broke. He's also hoping to win the endorsement of Governor Brown so the anti-Carter vote won't be divided with Brown's name still on the ballot. As for Carter, Kennedy says he's glad the president is out of the Rose Garden, but doesn't believe the nation's crises are all that manageable. I don't uh, think you can ask the people, and uh, I think their answer would be that that is one of the basic problems, is that we have not had competency in dealing effectively with our economic challenges and our foreign policy. And I think the American people are entitled to an American president that is going to be competent in dealing with those central challenges of our time.